Hello and welcome to or back to my channel. You can just call me Ray. For today's video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you know every time I upload. If you want to help support my channel, all you have to do is stick around until the end of the video and that helps me out so much you have no idea. Anyways, I'm going to get right into the video and I hope you enjoy. Surprise bitches, it's my face. Sorry if I jump scared you. Featuring my bra. She will be making frequent appearances in this video. Would you believe that I recorded this entire f***ing video and I didn't press record? So I was like, I was talking to nothing the whole time. Let me know in the comments what your unpopular Sims opinions are and I will feature them in my next Sims Sims hot takes video. So the truth of the matter is sometimes I just want to fight people. I tend to be a highly opinionated person and my mom hates that. But of all things that I could have opinions on, I seem to have many, many, many opinions on The Sims franchise. So let's get into today's video and discuss that. Number one on my list is that The Sims 4 does not need an open world. In my opinion, it was one of the major downfalls of The Sims 3 and why the game lagged at two frames per second. Things took longer to render in The Sims 3 than it takes me to cook an entire dinner for four people. Of course, there have been games that have been successful at utilizing open worlds. EA is not one of the companies that understands how to do that friends. And I still have low confidence in their ability to execute that. They can't even fix the f***ing stove glitch. And some of my toddlers still think that they're in a romantic relationship with their mom. That's not a mod, folks. That's EA. That's their game. I understand completely that it was an error in development with The Sims 3. It doesn't mean that EA would go about it correctly this time. And it should just be entirely avoided at this point because you know that shit will not get sorted out anytime this decade if it gets messed up the first time. I think that conceptually, open neighborhoods would be the safest bet while avoiding the god-awful amount of unfunny loading screens. No, I don't want free earbuds. Am I like the only one that whenever a plane goes by, I like literally think that we're getting nuked. I'm like, ah, this is it. <laughs> Next up on my list is that The Sims 3 is f***ing ugly and I can't play it for that reason. Maybe I'm shallow, but it's just, it's a problem. It's a big problem for me, especially here in 2021. Damn it, we have Red Dead Redemption now. I can never go back. Why are their clothes shiny? Why do they look like that? These textures, they're burning my retinas. What kind of sun casts this god awful lighting? Am I in hell? People make fun of facial expressions in The Sims 4, but have you seen the Sims 3. This is nothing new. This clay-faced demonic behemoth is the kind of shit that I think the pile of clothes sitting unwashed in the corner of my room looks like at 4am when I've woken up from a nightmare. Even mods could hardly save these ugly melting individuals, but god bless their souls. Their glossy eyes will literally haunt me until the day that I die. Like when I die and I go to hell for laughing at a kid getting yeeted by their dog, that's what I'm gonna see. Absolutely f***ing mental. I can acknowledge that the gameplay is great, but I do have a lot of trauma from the time that I spend in cast trying to make my sims look less uncanny valley and I still failed. Whenever I have nightmares, this is how I see people. It's, it's The Sims 3. That's how I see people in my nightmares. So number three on my list is that I despise Snowy Escape. In fact, of everything that I have, I think Snowy Escape is probably my least favorite. I mean, for one, it should have been a game pack. Thankfully, I waited until it was on sale and it was only 20, but mm, $40 for that? 20, even $20 was $5 too much in my opinion. It's garbage. This thing is garbage. Skiing is garbage. Snowboarding is garbage. This expansion is so boring. Build and buy mode was kind of cool, but I was expecting a lot more and I was kind of really disappointed because I wanted to see so much more culture. Girl, not the Sims community shitting itself over lowered platforms that should have been in the game centuries ago. Like toddlers and pools should have been in the release of the game? Yes, The Sims 4 did not have toddlers in pools at one point. And when they finally did, guess who rejoiced? Yeah, we did. Myself included. That I was- that's embarrassing for me. So just let that sink in at how unfinished this game was when it was released and how we should have had so many more things than we did at the release of this game. I mean, it's good to say thank you, but you just don't really reward people for doing the bare minimum. You know, I was pretty excited for this one, seeing that EA was collabing with YouTubers for the builds of this one, and honestly, the builds were the only redeeming part of this pack. For a very recent pack, it just does not match up with today's standards, babe. This is just... I don't use this pack. I'm sorry, I can't recommend it to anyone. And if you spent the full $40 on this game, then you will probably be entitled to some sort of financial compensation in a few years, because this... This is nearly criminal. So the next one on my list, I've actually like fought people about, not like, not like gotten into a fight, but like someone disagreed with me, I disagreed back, and then they disagreed with me again and I disagreed back. And it's just like a little back and forth, but I don't want The Sims 5. I just, I don't, 
want that shit, get it out of here. Not only is the amount of fake Sims 5 YouTube trailers like insanely annoying, but I am genuinely fearful what will come out of the actual Sims 5. With the normalization of buying vacuum cleaners in the game for $5, I'm scared of what the Sims 5 monetization efforts are going to look like. <laughs> Furthermore, I have spent over $600 on this damn game. Some would argue that that's my fault, and they're correct. But it's almost like you feel obligated to buy these packs so that you have certain gameplay features. I mean, you're right, I don't want The Sims 5. I'm tired of this. My bank account is tired. My family is tired of me. Just fix this game that I've already spent studio rent on. And then maybe we can start thinking about The Sims 5. I'm so stressed at the idea of EA abandoning this game that they have held me at gunpoint to invest in. Just so that I can have Judith Ward show up at my birthday party in the sleazy bar. Why are we paying $5 for Mark and vacuum cleaners? I can't let that one go. My last and most controversial hot take. The Sims 4 without mods is better than The Sims 2. I love my demon babies that are just objects. I love the non-existent personalities coupled with no consequences for anything you do ever. <laughs> my game is nothing without Judith Ward stomping around in the most obscure places. <laughs> I'm kidding. The Sims 4 seven years later is still an incomplete game. And The Sims 2 is the supreme. She will always be queen. Enjoy the realization that you will never ever capture that same childhood nostalgia ever again. Honestly, I still have not come to terms with it. Don't forget to let me know in the comments what your Sims 4 unpopular opinion is. My little bra strap wants to know about it too. If you ever want to make someone uncomfortable in public, all you have to do is just be showing like literally like this much of your bra strap. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today's video and I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in my next video. Bye!